Hello. I built up this uh, carbon fiber Amatan Productions uh, custom hexacopter thingy and I've been doing a few test flights with it lately so uh, I just thought I'd make a little update video to show you what's what I've done with this one. Um, well, um, hmm, what have we done? We've put it together, <laughs> obviously, and I'm using one of these uh, Fly Sky receivers. They're pretty good. And I've decided to try using one of these for the first time just to um, get everything up out of there. And the video receiver is attached using the thread of the hole that was made specifically for that purpose. So there's one of these, one of those holes there. Um, and it fits in there very securely just by using this thread or the screw. So that was um, quite convenient and you can easily access the um, dip switches there to change the channel if you want. So I think I'll just leave that permanently. The rest of the setup is a little bit less permanent because um, the camera is just stuck on there with an aluminium bracket and I might change the camera later on and um, I'm just connecting the camera and the video transmitter together with this hub so they just plug in there so it's a little bit temporary at the moment um, I was a bit lazy to sp splice into here and get some power for the video and the for the camera and the transmitter from here which is what I should do but it was so nice and tidy I didn't want to cut it but I'll have to cut it or get get a connection in there at some point um, so I actually did a little bit of flying this afternoon um, and recorded some video to show you how it flies and stuff so I think I'll just uh, show you the the rest of that. Okay, I've taken this for a few flights now, and it seems to fly quite nicely. Uh, it has a lot of lift, and so it's quite agile for its weight. Uh, I forget what the exact weight was, but I think it's about uh, it must be close to 700 grams as it sits here. Um, I'm using a 2200 milliamp hour three cell to fly it. It's not plugged in. Let's plug it in. And um, yeah, so. It flies fairly agile, not not too much different to a my 250 um, racer actually, but you don't get much flight time, which is the the main drawback. And I have the King Kong 6040 props on here at the moment, and they are very 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 close to each other there at the uh, the tips, but I haven't had any problems so far, so. Let's uh, see how it goes. Quite a nice day, but a little bit windy. And I'm having to record the audio with this again. Is this? Okay, this is terrible. All right. Oh yeah. So, a couple of these motors are actually a little bit strange, but. Once they get flying, they seem to be okay.
lost orientation there. So, uh, yeah, obviously, one of the problems with this is that it's quite hard to figure out which way it's facing when it gets further away from you. I actually end up trying to look at the FPV antenna on the back most of the time. You, you might be able to see it shuddering a little bit. Uh, I think that's partially due to the wind, but also partially because I haven't done any tuning of the PIDs. It's running... Oh, what was that? I think it might be just Clean Flight 1.9, and it's just all the default PIDs. So it could use a little bit of um, improvement, I think. But it's not too bad. So, uh, yeah. You may have noticed that there is an FPV camera on there. So we can do a little bit of FPV. Let's try a little bit of FPV and see how that goes. Okay, uh, put everything on here ready to do FPV now. It's a bit of a Mickey Mouse setup because this all has to be stacked up like that to avoid putting the center of mass too far to one side um, and I'm using two batteries because I had a second battery for the FPV gear because I haven't actually uh, organized a splice into here to get the power for the video stuff yet so it's just the camera and the uh, video transmitter are just plugged into this little hub kind of thing there and the battery goes on there so it's all very temporary setup at the moment but it seems to be working all right and once again I'll, I'll weigh this afterwards and put over on top of the video here how much it weighs because it's fairly heavy and um, yeah so even with this weight it seems to have enough lift with these six um, well, that's a bit wobbly looking the, the six props seem to give it enough yeah that's wobbling Huh. Uh, seem to give it enough lift to fly fairly similarly to a small 250. So anyway, um, we should be able to record. Okay, so I'll switch you over to that camera now. And I'll keep talking through the audio of this camera, hopefully. And hopefully not crash. Okay. Oh well, yeah. It does actually feel a little bit heavy. I have to keep reminding myself that it's not my little 250 because most of the time it feels as agile as the 250 does. But then every now and then it just sort of reminds you that it's not. And most of the time that comes in the form of a sort of a... Um, when you try and pick up speed by leaning forward like that, you get pushed downwards a little bit. 
and I think that is just to do with the way that big plate on the top is not very aerodynamic. So it was never really made to do with this kind of flying. But I think it's nice that it can. noise again. What is that? Getting worried. Yeah. So it seems like when you try and transition between a fairly steady level flight like just like this and then you want to hit the throttle and go fast you get pushed downwards. So I think that's just an aerodynamics problem, which for the purpose that this hex was made for is not actually a problem, hopefully. It's, uh, sometimes it feels like the wind pushing you, but the way that it, the way that it behaves is too consistent in every direction for it to be the wind. So sure that it's it's that plate being too flat and um uh, yeah, I don't really concentrate. <laughs> yeah the plate is just too too big and it catches the air too much. So that's all it is I think. like that. Got, I got pushed down quite a lot just there. You have to be careful not to uh, let that happen when you're close to the ground I guess. Okay so as I was saying about the um, about the flight time you um, you don't get a whole lot of it. Even with a 2800, 3 cell 2800 milliamp hour battery, I'm only getting about, I think it was 7 minutes or something, flying flying like I was just flying, fairly, uh, fairly aggressively. Um, so yeah, flight time is not very great, but apart from that, um, Seems to fly quite nicely, no no major issues. Um, so after this, I'll I'll have to put up uh, set up all the GPS um, GPS hold capable stuff and uh, see how it works as a aerial photography machine with the gimbal un underneath it. Anyway, until next time, thanks for watching.